Welcome back to the shop. I am tinkering around with the 1940s, 50s era Craftsman mower. What I had done is unsuccessfully try to braze this together, silver solder this together with a propane torch. And that didn't seem to work. So the propane, or pro, with the propane torch, the silver solder did stick to spots, but it did not go in to where I wanted it to. So I tried the oxyacetylene, and when I was setting it up, I noticed that I had some leaks, and I'm waiting on a new hose. The hose I have is new, however, uh, in an abundance of caution, I, uh, I'm waiting on that. But but at the same time, my propane torch also broke. It was a relatively reliable burns o -matic, cheaper of the brands. Uh, I used it for like my barbecue grill and for heating stuff up for a long time. But it finally got to the point where it just didn't shut off all the time. It just wouldn't something went bad in here, but I have abused this to no end. So anyway, because it's proven to be somewhat unreliable, uh, again, it's not worth horsing around with the stuff, I went out and bought another one. I bought a bigger one, bought the burns o -matic map gas. And I don't do a lot of plumbing, soldering, sweating, stuff like that, but I do heat stuff up for, for the channel and whatnot. But I think what I want to do today is, is I have a couple things. I have the silver solder, which I've had great experience with on very small parts, and then uh, and I might even get into some brazing. But but what I'm trying to do is while I wait for the hose for the oxyacetylene, and I don't have a lot of experience with the brazing, so I want to tinker around and I want to practice on stuff that's not important, something that's not sort of mission critical, if you will. So what I'm going to try to do here, and I don't know if this is going to work out in terms of camera. I have two cameras on this. I'm going to try to use the get a good shot of the silver solder here. Uh, maybe I'll do it a couple times. We'll see how it goes. This stuff is not cheap, so uh, so you don't want to just be wasting it. It's not like not like your regular old plumbing solder where you get miles of it and you just burn through it. Uh, but anyway, I've got this cleaned up nice, uh, nicely, um, nice and shiny. There should be no contamination on it. I'm going to try my first shot at silver soldering two pieces of clean steel together. Uh, this is slightly larger than I had done on that rifle the other day, which wasn't on video. There's two parts. There's a flux. I'm going to put a little flux on both. And then the silver solder is interesting in, in the sense that you're supposed to just put it next to what you want to uh, what you want to solder. I don't know how, how this is going to work out. I'm trying not to get my fat hands in the way. So that's silver soldered on there now. I didn't let it cool down on its own accord. I, I went and washed it in the sink real quick. The back side I could obviously do a little bit better job there, but uh, but that's that's relatively strong. Let me. I mean I'm not sure how good of a test this is. Ideally I'd want to sweat that other side back on there, but for for shits and giggles. You can see that it got pretty decent adhesion on there, and that it that it is relatively strong, but but it, it did still snap off just the same. So 
let me try something a little different. And I'm going to clean up this side and I'm going to try to braise this on here uh, with the brazing rods. And to be honest with you, I don't think I've ever brazed in my whole life. So, so we'll see how that works out. Now for the fun of it, I'm going to try to just butt these together. I've beveled the joints. They're not going to be completely straight, but we'll see if we can't make it work. Now it would be ideal if you could use a magnet to hold these together, and you probably could once, but that would that would ruin the magnet. I, I imagine I think this is a a brass with a flux coat on it. From what I watched last night, I think what I'm supposed to do is get this red hot and then start getting in there. So let's let's see how that works. And again, for anybody who wants to leave a comment on how I suck at this or whatever, you know, save your time. Uh, I'm, I'm not teaching you how, I'm just sort of bringing you along. Alright, that is piping hot. That is, that is not working. I think the vise is pulling too much heat out of it. Uh, the, the lesson I think here is that, uh, that in this particular case, um, I don't have enough heat. The map gas, while it's hotter than the propane, it is not a solution for wanting to braise small stuff. It's where the oxyacetylene comes in. So I, I, I will eventually have that on the channel. Uh, but right now, in a bunch of caution, I don't use oxyacetylene very much. And it's not something you want to mess up with. So so anyway, that'll that'll come about a different time. But, but I don't want to rant about how I can't do stuff. So let me, let me sort of set this aside, let this cool down. All right, I, I just cleaned that weld off with a with the wire brush. Let me not give up here with the brazing stuff. We know the brazing won't work, or I, I, I'm compelled to think that it won't work. Let me see if I can, I just because I cleaned that off, let me see if I can put a little flex on here and hit the silver solder.